What's up guys, uh, it's that time again for my Sustain the Industry for the month of August. Um, I've got an astronomical amount of stuff this month, anime, manga, uh, I've got a game in this review as well, a few DVD box sets. Um, most of the games that I get uh, are digital anyway because I'm on like PS Plus and stuff so I've only got one hard copy game this month and that is The Last of Us. Uh, I am a massive Naughty Dog fan. Um, ever since the first Uncharted came out, I've just been hooked with their games. Um, you know, uh, I never, I was late coming to get a PS2, so I never really played through like Jack and Daxter and Crash Bandicoot and anything like that. Um, in fact, Crash Bandicoot was the first ever game I played like back in the 90s. Uh, so I do have a little bit of experience with Naughty Dog, but um, yeah, I've completed this already, or at least a story anyway, I'm just starting online. Um, but it is an immense game, the story is just so captivating, uh, you know. So let's well let's move on anyway. This isn't a review. That's that. The Last of Us. The only game I got this month. Let's move on to um, some DVDs. Um, I got this random DVD called uh, Tokyo Zombie. Um, it's supposed to be like it says on the top there. It's like the the Japanese Shaun of the Dead. I haven't watched it yet. Um, so I really really don't know what to expect. It might be pretty funny. It might be pretty crap. Um, I don't know. So I don't know. It might be all right. Uh, Next, I got Ghost in the Shell. Um, I got this for a really good deal. It's uh, part of like the Manga Force um, collection. Um, I don't have the whole Manga Force collection. I don't really plan on getting the Manga Force collection, but I just got this because it's really cheap. Um, I do plan on getting this on Blu-ray. I uh, might get the Redux, um, like uh, digitally and CGI remastered version, because um, I also want to get uh, Ghost in the Shell 2 Innocence. Um, so yeah, that's that. Uh, next, for uh, I've got a DVD box set. I got uh, Tom Hanks and Steven Spielberg's Band of Brothers. Um, it's supposed to be really good, uh, and it's a steel book as well. It's like a limited edition thing. It's like um, it's like six disc six disc set. So that's pretty awesome. You know, comes with some really nice you know inlay art and stuff. You know, fo like photographs and stuff from um, on set stuff. So yeah, that's that. Uh, I got another steel book, which was um, Ninja Scroll the series. It's like the whole the entire collection. I uh, got a really good deal on this. Again, it comes with like some really nice um, artwork for you know the, all the covers and stuff like that. There's some of the discs. Uh, I think this is a four disc set. I haven't started watching it yet, but you know, looking forward to it. I really love the original uh, Ninja Scroll film. Um, so I'm really looking forward to watching this. See if it's any good. Uh, next I'll show you my last box set that I got, um, The Matrix, um, entire collection, it's got uh, The Matrix, Matrix Reloaded, Matrix uh, Revolution and the Animatrix and then like um, The Matrix Experience which is just like loads of like extra stuff, you know, um, interviews, um, behind the scenes footage, you know, CGI development and all that kind of stuff and it comes with this really nice um, like foil box with all, like all the numbers and stuff on it, you know, the, the coding and that it's really cool, um, I got this used, so it's a little bit damaged but you know, still really cool and it's only DVD so you know, it's still really cheap but that's that and that's it for my DVD box sets um, moving on to anime, first thing I got this month had to get it, um, One Piece Collection 1 comes with this really nice slipcase. Um, I absolutely love my One Piece. I love the One Piece anime. Um, and this is a collection of um, episodes 1 to 26. Comes with some really nice discs, comes with some really nice inlay art. Um, there's Luffy, uh, Zoro, Nami, and Usopp. Yeah, and that's that. Goes to, let's see, um, it goes to up to the point where they first meet Sanji and uh, get up to the like the Bratty arc. So yeah, that's that. And then I also got um, One Piece Collection 2. Rorona Zoro looking beast on the cover there. And also looking beast on the back as well with his Santoryu 3 sword style. Um, this goes up to just to the point where they're about to reach the Grand Line. Uh, got Sanji on the disc there. Um, Arlong, Boogie, when he's going on his little adventures and he loses his body and uh, Alvida when she eats the slip slip fruit so yeah absolutely loving One Piece now um, well 
I've loved One Piece for years, but especially the anime. I was late coming to the anime. I first watched the anime in 2005, but it was the four kids dubbing. It was like just, I, I loved it. Um, but, you know, the, the Funimation dub is a lot better. Um, and the English dub is really good. Uh, you got Colleen Clinkenbeard uh, playing Luffy, and she does a really good job of it. Uh, but all in all, I prefer the, the Japanese dub. Um, oh, wait, I've got another steel book here, a uh, small one. I've got um, uh, Avatar, James Cameron's Avatar. It's like a, a Blu ray DVD set. It comes with really nice extras and stuff like that. Um, I didn't even use that code. Uh, but yeah. That's really cool. I just love that. I just got it because the box is like really cool. Uh, I wasn't didn't really care much for the film. It was good. Um, saw it in 3D at the cinemas, um, but it's basically like Pocahontas in space. So yeah, it was good, and it's even better on Blu-ray. So yeah. Um, next, um, I got Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood um, Part Two, which is like episodes 14 to 26. Um, got Part One last month. I haven't started watching it this yet because I want to read the entire manga before I start uh, watching the anime because this is a retelling of um, the Full Metal Alchemist story so it's like slightly different from what I hear and I might actually watch the original anime first as well so that's that, really looking forward to watching that. Um, next I got um, Naruto Shippuden, um, the movie Bonds, I believe this is the second movie. It's good. It's kind of like a it's kind of like a long filler episode, but yeah, it was enjoyable. The animation was really good. Um, now it's always a little bit annoying in it, but you know it, 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 it is what it is. It was good. Oh, and it comes with some really nice inlay art as well. Uh, let me just take the disc out a second. We've got uh, Naruto and Sasuke Uchiha. Looking beast on that. I might actually take that out and frame it. Who knows? I guess you can like interchange. Um, the inlay art with the outside art. Uh, next, I got um, Eureka 7, the movie. Um, I'm not familiar with Eureka 7 at all. Uh, I'm actually watched the series first. I think there's a manga as well. Um, but I've got this uh, for a really good deal um, at my local HMV. Um, so I just thought, screw it, pick it up. And uh, it's got like interchangeable um, cover, so like the inlay art is also um, like the cover, you can basically switch them. So I thought that was pretty cool, I already switched it. That's not actually the original, that's actually the inlay art on the, you know, on the front there. But yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. Also, all these are on Blu-ray. Uh, next, something I've been highly anticipating for quite some years is uh, Evangelion 1.11, uh, You Are Not Alone. Um, this is the first in the uh, series of rebuild films of Neon Genesis Evangelion. Watch the original anime, just currently reading the manga, and I love, I love this franchise so much. So I was highly anticipating um, Neon Genesis, um, the, the rebuild films. Um, I had a chance to see him at the Leeds Film Fest in 2010, but I went to go see One Piece Strong World instead. And I kind of neglected seeing this, but you know, I'm, I'm, I'm glad I've gotten around to finally getting it. Um, I'll definitely get uh, 2.22. And the other ones, I think it's like four in total. Um, the last one's not out yet. But yeah, that's awesome. Just watched that last night. It's brilliant. Uh, and finally, for my anime this month, I got The Girl Who Leapt Through Time um, by the same makers of Summer Wars, which is a film I really, really need to see. So I thought I'd pick this one up first, seeing as this one came first, I believe. Got some really nice inlay art. Um, take the disc out so you can guys can see. Oh, just dropped it. <laughs> Now I can't ever play it. Uh, but yeah, um, it seems like a really interesting story. Um, I'll probably watch this tonight, might do a review on it even, if I like it that much. But yeah, uh, that's it for my anime pickups. Um, uh, now for the manga this month. Some of the manga um, I got was very, very rare. Uh, one of, about three volumes I've got this month of very rare manga that I'm really glad to have gotten. But I'll start with some of the more more known series. Um, picked up the first volume of Hunter Hunter. Um, I keep hearing from people that this is an excellent series. And now that it's back in print, you know, I thought, why not? Because uh, I did actually get a few miscellaneous volumes a few months ago, but um, I decided to actually start from the beginning. Uh, from the beginning, um, and actually reading. I've read a little bit of this, and it seems really cool. Uh, so, because, so because I got number one, um, I also picked up number two. Um, yeah, I think that's Killua and Leorio or something, and then you got Gone on the front. I think that's the names. Like I said, I've only read like probably about two chapters of the first volume. I don't really know much about Hunter Hunter, but and then I got three. Um, 
I've got volume four already. I picked that, that up a few months ago, but I've got volume five on the way. Uh, so yeah, that's that. And also, um, I finished off um, my Pluto collection. Um, I am a massive Urusawa fan. Um, I'm halfway through reading Monster at the moment. Uh, so I'll probably jump onto this uh, straight after I finish reading that. Yeah, got volume three, volume four. Um, so don't spoil any of this for me guys because I've literally only read about maybe one chapter of the first volume just to like get a feel of it. Um, and obviously I understand that it's by, uh, well, Urasawa actually went to um, I think Osama Tezuka's uh, grandson or something like that to get permission to um, uh, retell um, an Astro Boy story um, in his own you know, unique, you know, mystery thriller twist, uh, volume seven there. And finally, um, I like this volume because it's a little bit thicker. Urasawa tends to do that with his final volumes. He makes them a lot thicker. I really like that about 20th Century Boys as well. And um, the last volume of Monsters are also pretty thick as well. Uh, you've got Atom, I believe, or Astro Boy, whatever his name is. Atom, I think it's called in this. On the last cover, you can see how, how much thicker it is than the standard volumes. So yeah, I cannot wait to start reading that. I absolutely loved 20th Century Boys and loving Monsters, so I know I'm in for a real treat. Uh, next, um, I got a really rare, rare, rare series. And luckily I got volume one of this, so I might not need to collect the rest of them because they're pretty rare. And that is Mushishi, volume one. Um, I started watching the anime of this because the anime is really easy to come by. And yeah, I absolutely love the anime, so I just thought, why not? I'll just get a volume of the manga because somebody was selling it off really cheap on Amazon so I thought right I might as well just take this uh, this opportunity before it you know skyrockets up in price because the prices for, uh, for Mushi fluctuate violently like one week you know it could be like £700 per volume and then the next week it'll go down to like 20 something pounds so I thought right I'll just pick it up now uh, next uh, I got uh, Ralgrad um, by the artist of uh, Death Note and Bakuman um, uh, Takeshi Obata and the author is uh, Sunio Takano. Um, I believe this is the four volume series, so you know, I pretty much read through this pretty fast. This is just the first volume, this is a recommendation given to me by um, somebody at Traveling Man. So I thought, why not just pick it up? You know, it might be pretty interesting, seeing as I love this guy's artwork. You know, the story might not be that, that great, it might be really good, who knows? Um, one thing I also got um, was uh, Magi or Magi. Um, I really don't know how to pronounce the name of this series. You know, if somebody can actually correct me whether it's Magi or Magi or Magi or I don't know, you know, I really don't, I really don't know what to call this. Um, but you know, I've, I've I've seen a lot of hype around this. You know, a lot of people doing like reviews in it and stuff like that. And, you know, uh, you know, it's, it's a guy called Aladdin, and that's really all I know about it. He's <laughs> got a magic carpet, so you know that kind of appeals to me. So, so yeah. Uh, next, I got um, a few more volumes of Full Metal Alchemist. As you can see there, you know, it's still got a 3 for 2 sticker on it, so I haven't even touched these. Uh, it's volume 6. Um, volume 8. Uh, I skipped 7 because I'm a, I've said in a previous video I'm a real stickler for spine continuity, and you can see the viz mark on there. On the volume 7, there was a different mark, like a little. I don't, I don't even know what to describe it as, but yeah, I, I don't want like an odd sort of volume in my collection, so I held back on getting 7. Um, and then I got volume nine. Uh, I really can't wait to start reading through this. I've, all, I've already got volumes one to five. And you know, I, it, it's one of them classic series. I mean, it's already over, it finished like a few years ago. I know that, but it's just one of them classic series that I've just really needed to get into. Um, anyway, moving on. Uh, I've got the latest volume of Naruto, uh, volume 62, The Crack. Uh, right before the identity of Toby is revealed. Um, for anybody who is like an anime only watcher, um, in fact I don't even know if it's been revealed who he is in the anime yet but obviously I won't, uh, I won't spoil it, it's going to be in 63 that his identity is going to be revealed. Um, I wasn't too bothered um, about his identity, like a lot of people are kind of you know, pissed off over who it was but I wasn't really that bothered. Uh, next I got volume 19 of Bakuman. Um, just finished reading Bakuman because I also got volume 20. I finished reading this the other night and I felt completely bittersweet um, after after finishing this, as you can see there, final volume. It, it was an excellent ending in my opinion, but 
I felt really sad at the fact that it was over because it was such an excellent journey. Um, if nobody's read Bakuman yet, it's just just go out and get this. It is so, so, so good. Highly recommend Bakuman. It's an excellent series by the makers of Death Note. Uh, next, I picked up uh, Kaoru Mori's A Bride Story. A very, very underrated series. This is absolutely excellent. It's hardback, uh, published by Yen Press. And it's got some of the best artwork I've ever seen in a manga before. Um, I mean, look at that. It's just, it's just gorgeous artwork. Um, Kaoru Mori's just... Oh, she's just such an excellent mangaka. Um, it, it's a slice of life set in um, like 19th century like um, Asia. Uh, and it's just absolutely phenomenal. And because I picked that up, because um, I'm up to date on, on a bride story now, um, I also collect, uh, picked up Kaoru Mori's Anything and Something, which I believe is like a, a series of short stories. Um, yeah, uh, this was more of an impulse buy. I mean, look at the cover. I mean, it's just awesome. Um, you got, you know, nice bit of impulse buying there. Impulse. <laughs> yeah. Um, I haven't read this yet, um, but I reckon it's going to be really, really good. It's a little bit thicker than the Bright Story volumes. Um, so, yeah, you know, Karamori. I'm pretty much all up to date on her collection um, that's been released so far. Uh, next. Um, a series you already know I'm reading if you've seen my uh, first impression video on it and that's Claymore obviously I've got volume 1 to 3 what, from what you've seen volume 2 and volume 3 with Teresa on the front I'm absolutely loving Claymore Claymore is such an excellent series I recommend anybody to read this so I also picked up volume 4 Claire and Teresa on the front there Claire on the back Volume 5, yeah, volume 6, and another thing as well, I absolutely love these covers, they're almost like paintings. Uh, volume 7, Claire on the front again, and Ophelia on the back, um, let's kind of slide that in there. Uh, volume 8. Ophelia again on the back. Oh god, I'm running out of space. Desperately need a new bookshelf. Um, finally, volume 9. This is an amazing series. I love Claymore. Uh, volume 22 is the latest out, I believe. Uh, let's see, next. Uh, I filled the gap in my Blade of the Immortal collection. I was missing volume 2, so I picked that up. Um, I'm probably I'll probably start reading Claymore. Uh, not Claymore. See, see I'm, I'm already talking about Claymore still. That's how hyped I'm on the series. Um, Blade of the Immortal is what I mean. Um, I'll probably start reading Blade of the Immortal once I've gotten all of the latest volumes that I've released. I think there's 26 volumes that have been released already. I've read volume 1 already and it's excellent. Um, so yeah, that's Blade of the Immortal. I also picked up... Um, see, oh yeah, that's 24. Uh, volume 24, uh, Massacre. Just... Oh, Hiroaki Samura's artwork is just it's just phenomenal. I absolutely love his artwork. Um, once I've read this, this will probably be my top five mangas of all time. You know, I've got high, high expectations for this. And finally, I got volume 25 with this beast of a guy on the cover. I don't know who he is, but it looks pretty awesome. And I just can't wait to start reading it. But I've got so many awesome series that I want to start reading. So, you know, this will have to get put on the back burner until, you know, I've got more time to dedicate to it because I just want to read it all the way through and next um, the next extremely rare manga um, I picked up uh, this month uh, it's not I mean it's out of print but a few of the volumes are pretty cheap to come by um, it's only like the I guess it's a five volume series and that's uh, Strain um, by uh, Buronson who I believe is the creator of um, Fist of the North Star I might be wrong on that, so correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I don't, I've never really read or watched Fist of the North. I've seen, in fact, I've seen the film, the original film from the 80s, and that was really awesome. But the whole franchise, Fist of the North Star in general, Shadow, move out of the way. Move, 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 you're in my way. Sit down, sit, 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 good girl. But yeah, um, these were originally published in 98, I believe. Um, the artwork is amazing, like the manga itself is flopped so you can tell it's from like a, you know, an earlier era.
uh, as I was saying, got the, rid of the dog again. Um, but yeah, the, the artwork, it just looks so, so good. Um, because I've got volume one, I also picked up volume three because that's the only two that were available in the store that I saw it. Um, the quite, like I said, they're quite old, so a little bit jaded, but still more or less brand new. I'll have to pick up the other ones online because I, I don't see this sold anywhere. I literally found this like in the back of a box in my one of my local comic book stores. So yeah, that's that. Uh, next, one of my favourite mangas of all time, Vagabond, Vizbig, Volume 7. Sasaki Kojiro looking badass on the cover there. Um, oh god, what an awesome page to open up on. Uh, if none of you guys have read Vagabond, then I highly recommend going out and get this. You've got, you know, Yoshioka Seijiro on the spine there. That's another thing. They look beautiful on the shelf. Like, they've got um, artwork on the spine that kind of flows just beautifully. Uh, but yeah, if you've never read Vag Vagabond, go out and read it, like, straight away. <laughs> right now, this instant, because it is absolutely phenomenal. You will not be disappointed. And if you don't like this, then you probably don't like manga. Because it's just, it's just too good. Absolutely excellent. Uh, second to last thing I got this month was Mobile Suit Gundam The Origin Volume 2 Gamma. Um, I loved the first volume of this. Um, I love how vertical I released them in this beautiful, beautiful, you know, like booked hardcover book. You know, the aesthetics of the book are just so just, just beautiful. The artwork, everything, you know, the colour pages, the actual quality of the book itself is just excellent, you know. These, this book and volume one are probably like the, the the best books on my shelf in terms of aesthetic quality. So good. And the final manga, and the final thing in this pickups um, this month, um, I have to give a real real big thank you to um, Immortalium, a uh, fellow anime manga reviewer. Um, I'll put a link to his review of this in the description below. I got Ayako by. Osamu Tezuka, the hardback. Um, I finally picked this up because I noticed it was going out of print, or at least the hard, uh, the hardcover ones. You know, relatively hard to come by. You can still get the paperback. It's really, really thick. Um, it's flopped. You know, so it's in, uh, it's in left to right. You know, like the English, like Western books. But you know, that's not too bad. Um, read the book of Human Insects by um, Tezuka also, and I really liked that. So I know I'm in for a treat with this. And you know. It was pretty much recommended to me by um, by Martalium, so uh, I trust his judgment on this. That it's going to be a very enjoyable series. Well, I say series; it's just a standalone book. But you know, I just I, I love the quality of it. You know, you got Ayako's name on the front there. You got Osamu Tezuka's like little signature there in like a foil strip. Um, you just got Ayako herself, I believe, just on the cover with you know just complete blank background. It, it's just a beautiful book, and I just love how thick it is and. From a general flick through, I can see like how different the artwork is in comparison to the Book of Human Insects. It looks a lot more realistic. Um, so I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research on this before I actually read it to see like what you know when it was actually written in comparison um, to the Book of Human Insects and you know what stage Tezuka was in his career when he wrote this because there was that whole Gekika movement where you know Tezuka. Um, basically changed up his style a little bit to like you know conform to you know other mangaka who were doing more realistic um you know mangas like you know you got Lone Wolf and Cope in the Gekiga movement that you know kind of um opposed the standard for what manga was in that era so you know this might be one of the mangas that Tezuka did you know to kind of conform to the Gekiga movement you know because uh, I understand it's a more realistic um manga so yeah anyway uh that's my manga pickups for the month of um, what month, what month is it? Bloody hell. Uh, August. August. Yes. Um, my pickups next month might not be as big because I've got a lot to kind of get through. So I want to kind of dedicate myself to the stuff that I've already bought. So, so yeah, that's that. I'm Archangel Manga and I'm signing off. Goodbye.